Have you ever faced a situation where your Kotlin code works perfectly, but when accessed from Java, it throws a wildcard type at you? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into why Kotlin forces Java to see a wildcard type and how to tackle this issue. I completely understand how annoying it can be when your code behaves differently in Java than it does in Kotlin. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers encounter this issue, and it can really throw a wrench in your plans. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, why does wrapper2.wrap return a different type than wrapper.wrap? They provided some code that works fine in Kotlin, but returns a wildcard type when accessed from Java. Sound familiar? If so, let's dig into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this? The issue arises from Kotlin's type system and how it interacts with Java's generics. Kotlin uses a concept called projection, which can lead to these wildcard types when accessed from Java. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand what's going on. And don't go anywhere. I've got a pro tip at the end that will help you avoid these wildcard issues in the future. To understand why Wrapper2 returns a wildcard type, the user should first recognize the concept of variance in Kotlin. In this case, the out keyword indicates that wrapped is covariant in its type parameter. Next, the user should note that when Wrapper2 extends Wrapper, it inherits the wrap method. However, the type parameter T in Wrapper is invariant meaning it does not automatically adapt to the subtype. Now, when the user calls the wrap method from Java using wrapper2, the type information is lost and it defaults to a wildcard type. This is because Java's type system does not fully understand Kotlin's variance. To resolve this issue, the user can override the wrap method in wrapper2 with an explicit type declaration. This will ensure that the method returns the correct type when accessed from Java. Did you know, Kotlin was designed to be fully interoperable with Java, but sometimes these little quirks can trip us up. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Frustrating, but fixable. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests changing the definition of wrapper too. Instead of using map, they recommend using mutable map. This change helps prevent Java from seeing a wildcard type. The user explains that in Kotlin, the map interface has an out variance, which can lead to wildcard types. By switching to mutable map, you can avoid this issue. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always be explicit with your types when working with Kotlin and Java together. This can save you from unexpected wildcard issues down the line. And there you have it. Now you understand why Kotlin forces Java to see a wildcard type and how to fix it. Remember, being explicit with your types is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus pro tip on Kotlin and Java interoperability.